Surprise, surprise. I'm here. I haven't been here for a while. I haven't come live to you for a while. But the reason I'm here is instead of doing morning coffee with Tina today, I was going to pop in, even if nobody else is here, and let you know that today at 2 p.m. Pacific Coast time, um, Kelly and I together are going to be um, um, doing a trunk show from the shop and talking about a lot of the especially lace specific hey Tamara the lace specific stuff that we have in the shop to uh, talk to the International Organization of Lace Gals and as I understand it you guys can all come in too so at 2 p.m. if you want to come in and see the trunk show and talk to us and ask questions and all that jazz uh, definitely do come in and talk to us I will put the link in the comments below so that you can see that what have you been doing, Tamara? I was going to do a little garden tour while I was here. Do you want to see the garden? All my onions went. I'm going to flip you around. Hang on here. All right, so here's my little garden plot. Um, rabbit poop. If Kelly's never told you the power of rabbit poop, I'm here to tell you. Kelly has the rabbits. That's why I'm saying this plug. But I sprinkle rabbit poop on my flower beds, and it is a time relief release fertilizer. See how full this is? This is where my um, blooming, the real kind of blooming, onions used to be. And then um, that's why it's empty, because I just pulled them out last night. Actually, I'll take you over to the recycling bin, because, you know, everybody wants to see inside your recycling bin. There's all the onions that were in blossom, but they'd started falling over this morning, uh, and they were also covering up vegetables. I have pulled up, ooh, that's weird. I don't know what this is. I think somebody came and snacked on my plants last night. Look at that. Oh, there is definitely an animal here. And I also see, does anybody know any of their scatology? Because there's an animal that pooped something very cherry-like in my yard last night. Look at the ants, too. That's crazy. So this is my zucchini. Apparently it's two zucchini plants. I thought it was one, but it's two. Now that, that whatever beast that was that ate those leaves... Um, um, oh, and look, they've knocked a blossom off and everything. Bastards. I'm cussing on Facebook. But look, they chewed it clean off. I would guess a raccoon. Evil beast. And then, uh, see, there's a few of these onions left, but I'll get them in the garbage can or in the recycling. This is my cucumber, and I have been getting quite a bit of cucumbers off of it. But what happened is, this was so jungle-like that I missed a, cu a, few, a couple of beasts. And they were sucking all the life out of my vine. So now I found one that was as big as my arm today. So I'm hoping now that I've pulled that off, some power can go back into production of new cucumbers. I have lots of carrots coming. I have no idea the quality of those stalks that are going to happen under there. Um, tomato. The tomatoes, i got to tell you, are a big dud this year. i got lots of plant, but no tomato. This is the beet patch. I don't even really like beets. I'm going to have to... Maybe I can quick pickle the beets. Nasturtiums are happy as clams. I couldn't get nasturtiums to grow last year. Here is the plant. This is the tomato plant I planted. Oh my gosh. That is it. That is the tomato that I have for the season. And it's the end of July. I'll be lucky to get a tomato off this thing. Down in here is a pepper. I've eaten two peppers off of it. I don't see anything new coming. I got a blossom, but yeah. Let's see if we have any more... Uh, more bloss lots of blossoms, lots of green, no tomato. I don't know what's going on with this thing. But my nasturtiums I'm super happy about. When we get to the new house, ooh, I'll tell you that news too. When we get to the new house, um, I'll uh, plant nasturtiums everywhere because I love them. There's all of them. Last year I couldn't get them to come up and I had great tomatoes. This year, can't, can't stop the nasturtiums. And I have... Uh, I'm pulling a weed because isn't that what you do when you go check your garden pull weeds I can't stop them now the herbs are happy I'll show you my herbs threw that in the bin again the herbs are happy in fact I'm having to come out here on a regular basis and we've been eating them and so when I come out I make sure and um, pull the flowers off that's what you want to do to your herbs is don't let them go to bloom because then they get all woody but um ooh, it smells so nice but yeah, there's my sage, my oregano, my basil, 
or basil if you're an American. Um, and then this is thyme right over here. And they're all happy. Maybe I'll try and move them. We are going to be moving till winter probably, so no hurry there. There. I haven't trellised anything this year because it really hasn't needed it. Theoretically, that tomato could use it over there, but there you go. That's the garden there. Okay, I'm going to show you the poo. Do you want to see the scat from whatever beast ate my... Er, my Tamra, since you're the only one here, I'm going to show you the poo. Do you want to see the poo? <laughs> I'm waiting for your answer before I do it because it is some strange, not-a-dog poo. It's full of seeds. See that? It's full of cherry seeds, it looks like to me. So I'm going to guess that is a raccoon. Do you think it's a raccoon? All right, the rest of the garden, the mint has all gone to blossom. I haven't had a single mojito. Don't know why. The apple tree is growing like a beast. Thank God I don't have to deal with that. And then there's these, um, oh, Rose of Sharon. You know how I was saying I didn't know what these hibiscus looking flowers were? They're Rose of Sharon. I went to somebody else's house and they knew and they had them. But they are super cool. But they grow like crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So I have a purple one that's beautiful. We have this rose, miniature rose. I think I'm going to put some of these in in the next place too. Because this thing is super cool. And then um, a whole bank of Rose of Sharon. So whoever was here before loved their Rose of Sharon. And these poor little roadies still are fried. This one's white with a red center. Beautiful, though. And then I have another white with a red center in front of the house. I'm walking over to it. Right here. They are super pretty, though. So I don't know what to do about the Rosa Sharon's. Lots of ants back here. But see, isn't that a gorgeous flower? just cool but these things grow like a beast so I don't know where if I could if I could put them in this thing yeah not happy at all it must be a tea house one and then this thing's done to the yarrow or whatever it is dusty miller I don't know what it is here's my pots this has recovered a little bit but look at the fried edges on this thing all from that heat wave and then here's my succulent with the flowering done. And even th these things, this cole these coleus, crazy. I don't know what it took for them to design um, a coleus that could take the heat, but boy howdy, do these take the heat. And then there you go. There's the uh, weird petunia-like thing that isn't a petunia. And that one didn't die last winter. That's the only reason that's still there. Oh, well, come on, Tamara, I need you. You're my naturey person. Here's the other one. It's happier over here. I think it gets a bit more shade. Oh, and I'll show you my head, Tamara. She's so cute. I love my head. All right, here we go. Here's my little head, my girl. She's not fared in the heat super well, but there's chives. And then I put some alyssum, some white, sweet-smelling alyssum in with her, and look, they're coming up. So she's going to have bushy, bloomy hair next. All right, let me turn you back around. Oh, well, Tamara, I need you, man. <laughs> You're supposed to learn the poo, too, in the tracks, right? I used to have a book. I don't know why I had that. I think David bought the book when we were at Yellowstone. There was this book at the bookstore that was called something like um, Tracks and Scats or something like that. And we used to have it, but we've called a couple of times since then. Mm. Anyway, I'm not going to... Oh, there's three people here. Who else is here? Tamara's the only one talking. Who else is here? Talk to me. Three people. I can only see... Oh, do you have that book? Yeah, I think... I mean, think about what's at her. Oh, let me tell you what was going on out here last night, though. So we slept with the windows open because it cooled off beautifully in the evening. And there... It was weird. It was a cat in heat, I think, but there was also quite a bit of commotion. I'm c clearly there was a party behind the church last night involving several cats because it got quite wild. Hey, Leanne. <laughs> awesome. Um, yeah, 
Um, yeah, there was a cat party outside the church last night, as you do. <laughs> it was crazy out there. Crazy. So the cats yowled, oh, for a good two hours. I was awake until 1 a.m. listening to these, this cat fight. And then there'd be this genteel meow, meow, meow. Yeah, yeah, there was totally a tat, cat orgy here last night. Absolutely. And why they picked the church? Come on, cats. I guess they had lots of spare grass. But, yeah, there was there was a cat thing going on here last night. And it was these gentle, you hear this meow, meow, meow. And I was about ready to get up and go rescue this poor cat. And then it changed to, and then fights. And, oh, my gosh, it was craziness. It was almost worse than the 4th of July. <laughs> So, yeah, that happened here last night. So, anyway, I'm just here, because I haven't been here in forever, and also to let you know, I'll be back at the IOLI Zoom meeting. It's a Zoom meeting, but I'm pretty sure, I'm almost positive it's open to everybody. You didn't hear the cats? Did you have your windows open, Tony? <laughs> Tony's in the house with me. She's over here for a while. <laughs> It was crazy last night. I mean, granted, I had my south, uh, let's see, what is that? My east window open, and it was right over where the cats were doing their thing, I think, because, and they, for a while, I could hear them out my, my south window, too, because we have east and south windows in the bedroom, and the, the, um, the cat walked into the backyard for a while, which is the other thing, because I did think it might possibly be a raccoon getting into it with a cat. Did I tell you about, we had a cat, like, get to, it's some coyote, we think, killed a cat in our front yard right after we moved in. It was very creepy. And uh, so I'm, I'm always on alert when I hear cats, because that was a very difficult piece of problem to clean up. I've never had quite that issue before. Yeah. So, yeah, we've really quickly gone to the lovely topics. Anyway, I'm going to go. I'm not going to be here very long, and I'm going to upload this. Um, to Facebook instead of Morning Coffee with Tina, even though, look, it is kind of Morning Coffee with Tina. I do have my coffee. Thanks again, Tony, for getting my jar beautifully set. Did you do that last night? Because I didn't notice it. Um, but that's the deal. So 2 p.m. on the dot. Well, you actually, you can go a little early because I have to go early. And um, we'll be sitting in the Zoom room having a trunk show in the shop. That's what's happening today, and I'll make sure and get the links down below. All right, talk to you later. Um, have fun. Bye, Leanne. Bye, Tamara. Bye, Tony. I think it's you three. Talk to you later. <laughs>